Hi, I'm Stephanie Bauman from the University of South Florida, and I'm working in Dr. Lu Chao Lu's lab this summer. So in our project, we're working on the area of spintronics, antiferromagnetic devices that switch electron spin controlled by a current. I'm working with a lot of new equipment like the vibrating sample magnetometer and um, the sputterer to lay down thin films. I always go back to the checklist just to make sure I'm doing everything in the right order. So now that that's in there, I go ahead and take a look and make sure everything's lined up correctly, which it's not quite. So now I'm just bringing the sample holder down and then if I rotate it this direction, that should unhook the sample holder. And then I bring it back up slowly, making sure that it is engaged. And now that I can see that it is engaged, I go ahead and move it all the way back up. Now the the sample holder is on this arm that's attached to this and I'm going to rotate it back out. So now you look in here, the sample holder is back in here. A very, very important part of this is to make sure you close the transfer valve again, otherwise you mess up the pressure in the main chamber. Again, I'm double checking the transfer valve is closed, so you turn those off so that the load lock comes back to sea level pressure of 760 torr. So pull this out and this is the sample holder. As you can see, the sample is really tiny. It's half a centimeter by a half a centimeter, which is what we're working with right now. And all we have to do is loosen up the screws on either side, making sure that the arms don't scratch the sample. Then you just pick it up and put it in the next sample spot. Sometimes you end up playing tiddlywinks. I know that some younger people don't really know what that game is, but it's what it looks like when you push down on the arm and the sample goes flying. So now what we're going to do is uh, load the next sample carefully, tighten the screw, making sure not to torque it too much. Then you move the other arm into place. I need to loosen it a little bit. So now we're going to put this sample that's loaded into the, the load lock. Very simple. Just make sure it's lined up correctly. It's also important to make sure the o-ring is clean. And so is the lid before you put it back on. That way there's a very good seal. So that's really it for the loading and then you just turn the vacuum pumps back on and uh, wait until it re reaches the appropriate pressure and then load it into the the main chamber. Some of the manganese gallium samples that we've already created they have different thicknesses and they're labeled based on when we made them and which sample of the day it is so that we can refer back to that in our data so that we know what thickness level that we're testing. So I'm actually a non-traditional student, which means I'm a little bit older. I have been in the military for 20 years and I also had a civilian career for a long time in aviation contracts. And I decided to go back to school for physics and it's really been rewarding, especially this internship.